Gajon.com here. Um, finally, a new tobacco. Um, there's been new ones out in the past, uh, but this one's really got me excited. All right, this is called the Alchemist Blend. Check this out. This is a boutique uh, hookah tobacco. It's not mass produced. It actually hasn't been released yet. Uh, the owners came by today and we were uh, testing out these flavors. We're still in the middle of testing out some flavors. So we've been smoking them for the last half hour or so. Um, I'm re pleasantly surprised because it seems like a lot of brands out there are the same old repackaged stuff, uh, same old flavors or their version of somebody else's great flavor. For example, check out my my my, my uh, version of Blue Mist that, that doesn't work for me, you know? So this brand, um, what did they tell me? They gave me these notes and we're going to have a write-up that I'll post on other social media. But they actually age or ferment this brand for 60 days in bourbon bottles. Imagine that. And not bottles, bourbon uh, barrels. All right, pretty amazing. Um, it's a boutique. Uh, tobacco, meaning they make it all by hand here in the U.S. Uh, they get dry leaf uh, tobacco. They make it from scratch, and every like this gum flavor is like no other gum I've had. It's kind of like a pink chewing gum or bubble gum, um, but different from the other ones out there. It's just different. That's what I like about them. They're not copying anybody. They're not imitating anyone. They're Alpine Mint. It's it's really good. It doesn't. It doesn't taste like, how many mints are on the market? It doesn't taste like any of them. It's not a super strong one, like um, uh, some of the more popular ones out there, like a cane mint, it's nothing like that. It's nothing like an FML. Um, Starbuzz has several mints. It doesn't, it doesn't imitate any of those. This one I'm gonna highly recommend. You guys are gonna have to get this and try it out. Um, I think they're gonna do really well. I think you guys are going to like trying it and see when you get a new tobacco on the line everyone tries it and then they never buy it again. That's why I don't stock every brand of tobacco under the sun. So uh, several reasons why I will support a brand and uh, stock a brand is one if it sells a lot. I'm taking a risk on this one so the next thing I look for is uh, ownership and their principles on what they're making and how they're making it, how they present it. Um, so I'm going to support these guys on that. Let's get the cut here. You want to check it out? Okay. It's uh, a medium brown. Um, I like the cut. It was easy to pack. Just fluff it in there, right? You fluffed it in there. It smells great. The next flavor I'm going to be, well, that we were testing here is the Polar Bear, which is a cool fruity flavor. It's a mix of different berries. There's no harshness and it's totally smooth. So um, I may not look like it. It's still in the morning. We just had our meeting. I haven't been to work yet. I haven't gotten to my computer yet. So I'm a little just waking up, but I'm really impressed with this. So. I'm going to put another round of coals on these and see how it performs. So check it out, November, about a month or so, uh, they're going to have it released and you'll be able to get it at hookahjohn.com. <clears throat> I know it wasn't the most exciting video, but it actually is an exciting topic. A new brand that um, I'm going to support and I think you guys should do the same. And we're going to try it, we have a, a bag of other flavors, let me see if we can find out they have the names of the other flavors. We got uh, Manila Melon. We got a couple of those, quite a few. More Alpine Mint, Gum, and Polar Bear, the ones we've already had. So we're going to test out these flavors a little bit more. And um, already after the first round of coals, I'm impressed. I'm going to stock it. I'm going to smoke it. I think you guys should purchase it and smoke it yourselves. All right, so that was it. Hookah John out of here. See you guys.